So, the Yamato is venturing far beyond the Milky Way in order to save Earth. Important side note here, by the way, I ought to mention. The Crossbone Gundam characters have a different art style from the from the original characters, super, original Super Robot World characters, and the Star Blazers characters. That is a really nice touch. Like, Bernadette's blush is shaded differently from everyone else's. And do our part to protect the Earth from the Empire, lest their journey be in vain. And animation. <laughs> Mission Scenario 2 of Super Robot Wars. Last time we were streaming. This time. So, this opens up some new options here. This one I uh, want. So, we have our first new option for a scenario here. Trial by, uh, DLC. Trial by Fire. We actually have a few other ones aside from this. There's these ones here, which basically are there to give you a couple really nice items. Um, so this one comes with the... Uh, let's play all of these. Bunch of cash and two new power-up items. Let's see if we have a chance of winning this. <laughs> In okay, this is a character um, we haven't encountered yet. We just got the items. Okay. Oh, what the hell, let's just claim them. Holy crap. Okay, sure. I'm not necessarily going to use them. Thank you for purchasing the full pack of bonus scenario. We didn't care that much about, about the English translation on this part. Please consider this as a gift of appreciation. Yep, same text as the last one. They didn't really care this much about getting these... Well, get the translation here. Got a whole bunch of cash, whole bunch of attack points. And I'm not really going to equip this stuff. But... Up next... Oops. Well... Okay. I'm going to do a new save here, just because in case I want to go back to before I got the stuff. And now, the actual bonus scenario, trial by fire. Here we go. Yamato, having halted Jupiter Empire development on Mars, readies itself for the first warp in human history. I actually gave me enough time to read this out loud this time. It's nice. Unless I need to be hitting... Nope, I don't need to be hitting a button. Nice cafeteria. So, you and Velt met after the Yamato had already set out. We did! 
I haven't figured out those two characters, uh, Bernadette and Tobia's uh, voice acting yet. And I would have guessed, seeing the way you two move on the battlefield. I could swear that you two have been a team since forever. Really? I'm glad someone out there thinks about thinks that. Can you lighten up? It's over. That makes it a good memory. You, you say that, Shitose, but... But there are some things you don't want to remember. What's the deal with you two? We kind of found ourselves in a team, but there's no reason why we can fight like we... But, but, kind of found ourselves in a team, but there's a reason why we can fight like we do. Went through a lot on our way to Mars. What happened? We've got some time before we head to Jupiter. I suppose I can tell you. OVA bonus episode to go with the DVD release. New correct separate country near 2199. Yamato launches from Earth, charting a course for Mars. Inside, the three pilots of humanoid mobile weapons attend a briefing on the tactical maneuvers to be used in the battles ahead. Special episode, Trial by Fire. So normally these briefing rooms have like a little armrest thing that you can put papers to take notes on or that sort of thing. Like briefing briefing room in Area 88 had this. So we three will be on the same team? Correct. Mobile weapon tactics are an entirely different beast compared to the Cosmo Falcon. I wouldn't even be I wouldn't be able to keep up. Junohara looks more surfer duty. I mean, they both have the um, spacer tan, but Shinohara's got the long hair going on, which seems impractical with the helmet. I figure Mecha would work best with other Mecha. If I may be frank, Captain, in space, the Hucklebine's maneuverability is on par with the Cosmo Falcons. Moreover, the Grungust's wing, wing gust mode allows it to maintain high speeds. We've designed this machine project in preparation for our trip to Iskandar. It's prepared for any and every event for what you want. And there, and there he goes, bounding off again. Focus. Pop the brakes, Val. Let's hear him out first. Oh. All right. I'll just say it now. Information wasn't my idea. Hey, was it? Suzumu? While Suzumu is in charge of tactics, this one is directly from Commander Okida himself. From the Commander? So, it is what it is. Being part of the, Ram of the Yamato crew, he's following orders. Sir, so, yeah. Uh, yes, sir. That's like proper military talk, right? If you say so, your crew, not personnel. I read you loud and clear. I'll offer no further comments. Mando Okina is a legend. I'm sure he has his reasons. Well, thank for those watching for the first time, which is nobody at this moment. Welcome to Bad Accent Theater. I'm your host, Count Zero. Will these these two are starting pretty much to square one. I hope this works out. Saragi is not exactly experienced herself, but I can't have those two going out there with the stars in their eyes. Which is an interesting expression when you're in space. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to request that we train together to ensure we can function as a team. That is a very good idea. Whoa, Miss Serious over here. Don't get ahead of yourself. We can't leave the Yamato while it's in transit. But... Oh. That's already taken care of. Officer Sanada has a simulator ready and waiting for you. This is too cool! 
It feels like we're actually in space. They did great. You did goosed. And Huckle Dime perfectly. And he'll give off Dada his reputation for a reason. Oh, look at that! We do model advantage! But if we get it... Who cares? Just don't get hit! He's right. The glass must be half full for you. Oh no, wrong accent. The glass must be half full for you! Hey, it's 336,000 light years. You gotta stay positive. You'll sit it, buddy. I guess some of us aren't on the same page. Might make teamwork a little hard. Okay. Well, how about we get started? Now focus. Incoming target. Now focus. Incoming target. Oh, they went old school with the mobile suits. They're, all, they're almost essentially old. Who since they lost a decade of Char's Rebellion. Federation shoots on Yegan. Those codes must mean they were deployed to the General Rebel. Who survived the events of Shara's counterattack and appeared and gone to Unicorn. Yes, I'm sure Executive Officer Sonata would love to talk about that. Now go! Yes, sir! New hotness versus old and busted. Let's lock it out of the park. We're in video glitch there. I'm to show Hucklebine but know what Hucklebine can do. Simulation, but could you try to be more serious? Or who else? Or else who knows what will happen in a real fight? No SR points for this. Um. So just, we just gotta win. We can't, and none of our units can be defeated. those in the main game. So we're basically just doing this for gear, for money and tech points. That's what we're doing with here. Zaku. 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 Began. I assume the cap ship they're referring to is off in the distance. The quote unquote shoal zone. So that affects, if you notice, everybody's defense innovation is up. So she has support attack L2. Support attack L1. Or defend L1. So she'll help tank more. We'll try to keep it close, so no AOE stuff, so keep everyone in a close information so they can reinforce each other. Alright, bigger chance of hitting, no real need for help. She's an energy, she be fine. What the Bind and Dune Goose? I never knew there were. For machines like that, I've got a lot of work to do. Me and the Vang Ray. Oh! We don't really get much return lines. Shield defense. I think I took. Alright. Uh, 
attack with a beam saber this time. It's 18% chance, so it shouldn't limit their ability to hit me. So this was like a variant uh, MP Gundam. Oh, straight up! Star Wars knockoff sound effect. Okay. You guys, we got this far, already been softened up. So, from previous games, I wonder if the last hit. Actually, no, we're, we're, we can't level up from this, so it actually doesn't matter. So it doesn't affect here, but in the most games, the last hit goes to uh, give, get the most XP. So what you'd want to do is open fire with whatever your best, um, is it, whatever you're trying to level up, they get the last hit, and the XP is also determined based on level discrepancy. So if a lower level guy kills a higher level guy, they'd get a bunch more XP. So what you'd want to do if you wanted to get your lower level guys to keep up with your main forces, you would have them handle, like, basically cherry tapping. Uh, let them finger poke of doom anyone who was, um, any higher level enemies who are softened up otherwise. But since levels don't carry over here, it's not as big a deal. Uh, Jigon, both of these guys are pretty neat. Weak. The Vulcan Cannon can take up both of them, so... We just want to win this right now. We are going up against Ultra Mobile Suit. No problem for Pepo Beam. Lucky Beam. Forget the team. I can handle this myself! You know, that's the same dialogue for Steve Kilsky. Ha! He didn't finish them off. Interesting. And support attack comes in with Kitose getting the kill. That's actually pretty good. And I'm having the Lord attack them move this way. More guys here. Punch this guy in the mush and finish him off. Go, go, Kiri! Go, go! That's a good accent here. Go, go, Kiri! We'll make short work of these rust buckets. My accent's get the footman. Me and Kiri, they're untouchable. Oh. One percent, seventy one percent, six, 
and 82. Yeah, that explosion should work a little differently in space. Do more spherical explosion. It's in range, but you can't hit me. Can't see me? Alright, and... Can't move you, so... All right, still can't touch Hucky Bean. So basically, you're the bit fighter. I've already fucked this crap up. He's now at the time to fight him. You've already lost. Um, we're done. It's about 15 rounds left, so that should work. Yeah, that'll work. And the sh like, they'll miss, and I'll finish her off. Finish them off. And then moves to the point blank range. It's interesting that, that um, I'm not sure the stats work on this, but yeah, Shatosu is getting the first attack in or against some of these enemies when they're attacking her. Yeah, here's a good example I was talking about on a couple like, missions or so ago. Um, uh, when repeated enemies attack the same target, with repeat attacks, the percentage chance of hitting goes up. That continues until they actually land the hit, or a couple other variables come up. But so basically, the way this is, this is going up is. Shitose is softening up the enemies either with direct attacks or by response to counterattacks, then setting things up for other pilots to finish them off. Be a hockey kind of analogy? Like, stick gloves. Just rush them. Back from here. Uh 
あとは回を求めるのどうでしょう That was on the menu. No way! No freaking way! I think I was supposed to go up with go against what's on the ship, not the ship! You aren't familiar with Char's tactics at the Battle of Loom, are you? Like, Char's preferred tactic, both in a mobile suit and not, is cruise up to the bridge and fire a bunch of stuff into the bridge. In some cases, decapitating one of the commanders of one of the leaders of the Zabi family with a bazooka missile. A mobile weapon team versus a fleet of ships. Unconventional. Typical warfare. Its vice federation lost to Sigamalans. Here we go! I'll make an opening. Follow my lead. I can't say I see the point. Yeah, I don't care if it's a simulation. It's bonkers. So what if it's bonkers? It doesn't mean we can lose. Wait! There are things out there we can't even imagine, but it doesn't mean we can stop. We have to keep going. And I don't think that this training is pointless. Uh, oh, come on. The Federation may have lost, but that doesn't mean that we will. Believe in the me that believes in you. We're going to run into gambling sooner or later. Just think of this as a dry run. Technically, we ran into them already, but yes. Point stand. Okay. It'll be okay. You can do this. Earth's hopes are riding on the Guru Goose and Hucky Bean. Uh, yeah. We, we have to do this. We, we could be up against anyone. Anything. I like the sound of that. Let's do this!
However, we're starting this turn um, having been gabbing. The good news is only bucket beans taken da uh, only um the fang rays taking damage okay so we're gonna team up let's team up on one ship So final beam I can't use it after moving. I have to use it. Okay. Usak has a chance of hitting us though. That was one heck of a lesson. I guess it takes more than strength to win a fight. It's all about will and courage. I'll do better next time. This is a big weapon combination. This attack looks really nuts when you're using space. This one now. I can't expect to win by relying on Huffy Bean. You need, need, need something to win against a strong enemy. I learned what that is today. So you can't do a counter attack Soldier, against this big AoE missile launch attack. Didn't kill both of them. You're in a good position for me, hopefully, to finish you off, and you can't get back. No, oh, Lottie, we can do this. We can make it to Iskandar and back to Earth. We have to. I'm really running low on juice. <laughs> All right, one battleship down, two to go. Okay, no chance of hitting Huckabee. 
who wants to be softened up already. Oh, this is gonna be a crit, isn't it? Not quite, but it softened them up really well. Okay. Multi action. Yes, that is re definitely going to finish that one off. Oh, I tried to use the stick that. Well, you know, the fortress skill doesn't help me get with it in the And the multi action, you get to attack again. Yeah, if you do it again, we start softening up the other capital ship. Go for it a whole bunch. Okay, kind of almost halfway down. Good thing you guys can't hit worth a damn. Oh, support attack! Okay. Not enough for the kill. Leap Slasher should hopefully finish him off. Hit off. Them off. Oh, not quite finished. Well, since we're clobbering him with all our special attacks... Oh! Chelsea goes in to finish him off with special attack. And with the support attacks, don't use any energy, which is nice. gotta have faith we are awesome we couldn't have done it without Huckabee and Guru Goose and us as pirates of course but to say you're the one who put it out to us what now who 
said it felt. Honestly, I nearly lost it when I lost the, when I saw those ships. Thank you, really. You told me exactly what I needed to hear. I, I didn't know what you... I really don't know what you're talking about. It, it was just a little advice is all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's blushing. Y you cut that out, Lottie. But I do think that was some good teamwork. It was. Yeah. Got the celebration. You're not done yet. Wait, what? We're like almost energy drained. We have 10 battleship scenarios on the menu today. Do you say 10? Whoa. Whoa, are we being trained to be Spartans or something? Remember, no, remember, no whining. We train until we get to Mars. Don't forget it, our failure means it's over for Earth. No pressure or anything. That sounded like it was... Regiment. Not regiment. Regiment. They had us fighting a regiment, the three of us versus a regiment, but it was as a, it was as a training regiment. Unless that's a pun. A deliberate pun. Which is a little more than I'm expecting from the quality of this translation, but hey. Here yeah, I thought I'd forgot. I remember the only thing I wanted was to get to Mars already. But we did get something out of it. There's no battleship out there we can't handle. Not to mention the teamwork. Not to mention the toughest, it toughened us up. They pumped us up! So that... So, that's your secret. But it might not mean love. Not for a journey this long. I guess so. It'll just have to make sure it is. I know you guys can do it, no matter what's out there. We know you can, we know you can too. Yeah, if you're a team. We can fight, we have to. We'll fight and we'll make it back to Earth. We have a lot of people waiting on us. Got a barrier field, got a bunch of cash, got some more tech points. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.